you know, we're all assuming that everybody's going to be reasonable and get to an agreement. But as we saw in the TTIP negotiations, you know, those, those were not really that uh, agreeable on lots of different issues. And you had Poland arguing about something and the French arguing about everything um, because they're French. Um, and, and so, I mean, you, you know, we also heard, you know, we've heard things about alternatives to a bilateral agreement with Europe. Can you talk about what some of those alternatives might be? Yeah, absolutely. The, um, I mean, the fallback position will be the World Tr Trade um, Organization position. Um, there has been a lot of discussion around how uh, the UK will trade with the, with uh, uh, Europe um, following its exit. Will it be the Canadian model? Will it be the Norwegian model? Is there a Swiss model, uh, an Icelandic model, and and and? Um, it won't be any of those. It'll be a UK model. That's what that's what it will be. I think the most um, plausible commentary I've heard recently is it'll be a Norwegian model uh, with bells on. Um, I'm not quite sure what that means, and that's because nobody's really quite sure what that means. I think, to all practical pur for all practical purposes, um, pragmatically, what it has to mean is that there is free trade with the UK. Uh, the, between the UK and Europe. I mean, don't forget that almost 50% of the export uh, export of goods and services from the UK goes to Europe, either directly or indirectly facilitated through EU trade agreements. So um, there's going to be, there needs to be um, free trade uh, between the UK and the, and the rest of the European Union. Um, and as we discussed in the earlier panel, um, the price for that is going to be, ironically, given that it featured so prominently um, in the whole, nego the whole debate pre-referendum, uh, the price will be free movement of people. So my guess, and this is, you know, this is an ill-informed um, guess, uh, is that actually we will end up having pretty much what we've got with one very significant difference, which is that we will not have a say in the rules and regulations which will then be imposed upon the, uh, the United Kingdom.